Amalur is changing. Magic, once lost to the mortal races, has returned to the world. This is the age of Arcana. Order is giving way to chaos and destruction, and the Fate Weavers know that there are none in this world fated to save it. But hope lies in one who has already died, a hero who will embark on a quest to reshape the fate of the world. The legend begins in the Well of Souls, when gnomish scholar Fomerus Hughes finally succeeds in his attempts to restore life to the dead. The pursuit of immortality, we are the only proof of what we've achieved here. The hero's search for answers leads to the fate weaver Agarth, who sets the hero on a treacherous journey to discover the truth. Fate's weave is always hard to see, but your path is yours to determine. Along the path to find truth and meaning, the hero will encounter a number of factions that want to enlist the aid of the Fateless One. The hero may find it advantageous to join one or more of these factions, for they each possess unique knowledge that will help him on his journey. On the surface, the Travelers are a free-roaming society of entertainers and nomads living a carefree existence on the open road. Ain't no worries in Star Camp. Travelers are the way life should be for a bloke in these lands. However, they are from a lineage of the finest thieves that ever walked Amalur, and becoming one of the Travelers allows the hero to buy and sell stolen goods, as well as delve into the fine arts of stealth, crime, and subterfuge. I can part with the daggers for half of what I was asking. I'd rather not get on the bad side of the Travelers. The Scolia Arcana was formed generations ago. It has since become the central university for all mortals who wish to study the practice of magic. We have a responsibility to know what these forces are, so that we may better control it. A student who shows sufficient talent is granted access to the libraries of the Scolia Arcana, where they may study the arts of sagecraft, dispelling, and alchemy. My suspicions regarding your potential were well-founded. The once proud and noble warriors of the Warsworn are now known as the finest and fiercest hired swords in the Phalanx. A mercenary sells a sword without honor. The Warsworn sell honor armed for battle. The name of the Warsworn strikes fear into the hearts of enemies throughout the land. Once proven in battle, a Warsworn pledge has access to skills, weapons, and training that cannot be found elsewhere. I've trained, I've dreamed. I will join the Order. Amalur is host to more than just mortal man and their factions. The world is riddled with other races with numerous alliances from the studious gnomes to the immortal Fae. Long ago, the Fae split into two courts, each with many houses. In the Summer Court, the House of Ballads is the keeper of songs and lore. The house ensures those defining tales are never forgotten. In these dark times, a hero is needed to relive the tales of old and continue the song. Meanwhile, in the Winter Court's House of Sorrows, few follow the old ways, and for the first time in living memory, the House of Sorrows will welcome an outsider into their ranks. It is not a simple task I ask of you. We need someone who understands that. But even the immortal Fae are helpless against the forces that are rising in Amalur. A twisted new sect from within the Winter Court, the Tuatha. The Tuatha grow in power, driven by their strange new god toward the destruction of all mortal life. They are warriors, priests, and zealots who worship the god under the mountain and obey only Gadflo, their malevolent leader. For the first time in the history of the world, they have marched to war against the young races, and after a long decade of conflict, it seems that the Tuatha will emerge victorious. The rise of magic has upset the balance in Amalur, and the world teeters on the brink of chaos. Death has freed the hero from the bounds of fate, but there is a treacherous journey ahead for the Fateless One. With divided factions and warrior insurgents with their own agendas, the escalation of pure evil in the war-torn land will challenge and ultimately shape the hero's destiny.